pretty decent beat. It looks like they raised their guidance for the current quarter as well. What's behind this? Look, I think the data center spending is back, and I think you had that combined with very low expectations of Intel. Everybody was raw rying AMD <laughs> that they're going to take all of the share from Intel. Look, we don't. Uh, we can see that AMD is going to be a share gainer over the next several quarters uh, against Intel in the data center segment, but it's not going to happen overnight. And this is a rising tide, so it's going to lift both boats. Big picture, that data center spending means, and I know, um, you know we're talking about Intel here, but this sort of capital cycle, this sort of capital investment cycle, whether it's cloud or all kinds of other things, it's not over. No. Uh, in fact, you know, one of the things that's happened is there is a bifurcation in spending between Fortune 500 companies huh. and the cloud spending and the cloud spenders. Here, uh, in this group, this is very diversified. There are many, many companies yeah. spending a little bit of money. Here, it's very concentrated, and they tend to be very lumpy spenders. Huh. And they've been absent for three to four quarters now, and it looks like this group, Facebook, Google, Amazon, and AT&T even is back, and usually when that happens, they tend to spend for multiple quarters. Can you just clarify that a little bit more? So overall, Fortune 500 capital spending on this kind of stuff has pulled back a little bit? or has Yeah, so down? this this area might be seeing some weakness, but okay. this area tends to be lumpy. Got and it. this area is extremely mm. diversified, many, many participants. This area is very concentrated. So you have slightly different cycles, uh, but this area is clearly a Got slightly it. bigger for Intel. I mean, it's got to be said, they say they expect to deliver a fourth record year in a row, according to Bob Swan, the CEO. So relatively new guy at the helm, steering it pretty well. How much were they helped by... People buy more computers. PCs seem to help Microsoft yesterday. Is I mean, if you look at it from a business by business perspective, and we have breakdowns of sub-segment expectations. So the the consumer segment was about 9.7 billion. We were expecting about 9.6. So slight beat, nothing, nothing to write home. But uh, the data center group uh, was 5.24 is what we were expecting, and they delivered 6.4. And the other segments, IoT, Mobileye, uh, the memory group, as well as the Altera business, were give or take in line. So right. most of the business strength came from the data center group. So we have some headlines crossing to George Davis, the CEO, speaking with Bloomberg in an interview. Uh, he says that demand still strong, as you would expect him to say. The PC unit was hit by a shortage of supply, not huh. competition. What do you make of that? Look, I mean, there's been some issues over over the past year where they've been they've struggled to uh, get product to the door, and this is a perishable business. If you don't have product, somebody they'll go to the competition. So you have to pr have product across the price spectrum, and this this particular the PC business has also been driven by strength at the high end corporate PC buying who want to switch from Windows 7, remember them, to Windows 10. So uh, there's a lot of that move going on. People are still using Windows Wind 7? Cell, huh? Hey, you know, it's getting de-supported um, uh, early next year, so if you don't move, Mm. Uh, you'll have a virus attack. I think most of the UK government still is. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, they still might be. They need to go back to Windows 6. <laughs> uh, big picture, just uh, with the other chip makers we got, because we got Texas Instruments, Lamb Research, all these companies. Is this still a cyclical story, or is this a story that gives us a read on the cycle? Yeah, that's a great question, Joe. We've had some mixed data points for sure. If you look at what TI said, their yeah. broad-based indicator, we've certainly seen weakness from them. They've said autos and industrials are weak. If you looked at what SD Micro said in Europe, their auto business was weak, but there was offsets from other segments. Um, so it's been a, a, a mixed bag. I think data center strong, I think yeah. is a good point. But auto's weak is the other counterpoint. 